Oh my god. Woo! What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. 66.6 .6 kilos. Holy damn, that's a low weigh-in. Uh, I think it's my lowest weigh-in on this cut so far. Today, I want to take you guys with me on a full day of eating on my cut. But the problem is, I start up my mornings with some cereal to get some carbs in. I would say I would do oatmeal, but honestly, I'm not feeling oatmeal right now. So I want to do cereal. But the problem is, I don't have any milk. So we have to go to the store right now to get some milk, but luckily the store is in my front door. So pretty much, let's get to the store and grab some milk because I'm starving. Honestly, I really need to clean these. Holy cannoli. Look at my morning face. Holy cannoli. <laughs> what up though? So my breakfast is some cereal, just a very big bowl of cereal. And I have some orange juice. Usually I would eat oatmeal, but just today I'm not feeling oatmeal at all. So I have to get my carbs in, in another way. And um, because the cereal is less carb dense than um, the oatmeal is, I have to compensate and drink some orange juice, which I don't mind at all because it's sweet, it tastes good, and it feels, makes me feel good. But the one thing is though, with this cereal, it is a little bit more of a faster carb. So it will give me a burst of energy quite qu quickly instead of the oatmeal being uh, a very slow carb. So it will release energy quite slowly throughout the day. This will make me feel less full than oatmeal will, but uh, we are hitting the gym in about two hours. So I'm gonna eat before the gym uh, another meal. So I will be fine. I'll be able to survive on this meal. So let's enjoy this meal real quickly. All right, guys, second meal of the day now is 1.30. Uh, as I said, I had cereal in the morning. Well, morning was 11.30. So it's two hours later now. And uh, this is the pre-workout meal. We're having um, chicken breast. And I always add some uh, veggie mix with that. And I also have, fuck. Not enough rice. We need to go to the store. Lovely. Whoops. But this is whole grain rice. It's a little bit better. Uh, just like oatmeal, it's like a very good, it's like a very complex carb. So it's great to eat this instead of white rice. It's a little bit better. Um, but um, shit, store first. So um, yeah, quickly ran to the store, got myself a shit ton of rice. Um, so now we're good. Right now I'm doing a cup of whole grain rice a person. So the chicken is around 200 grams each piece. So we each have 200 grams of um, chicken. And then I would say I do half of this package, which is half a kilo, 500 grams. So I would say it's uh, 125 grams of veggies a person. And then we round up everything for flavor with some sweet chili sauce. Oh no. This is almost ready. This is almost ready. So usually I would have eaten this meal after a gym because after the gym you're feeling tired, you're feeling empty and you know, you need to eat a lot of food to feel good again. But because I had such a small breakfast, I had the cereal instead of the oatmeal because I wasn't feeling it. This is the price I have to pay because now I'm super, super hungry. And if I eat something less than this right now, I feel horrible in the gym. So I'd rather eat this now. And then after that, we're gonna have to sacrifice our meals a little bit in the evening because we cannot have as much volume then uh, as we would have had if we eat, ate this after the gym because obviously we skipped the oatmeal. So, that's something I have to, the price I have to pay for that. It's almost done, so let's get to eating because I am super dead and starving. Et voila, it's a meal. All right, this is how I'm looking right now after a quick gym session. I feel very thin, I feel very depleted. I need some food in my life and I also really need a um, re refeed day because my body is tearing down I don't feel that well I'm a little bit sick actually maybe the chicken wasn't that good but yeah starting to look a little leaner as you can see uh, not that bad but man I feel empty as hell so we need some food now <sighs> all right next meal let's go 
it is almost five o'clock. We're having a high protein yogurt. It also has some carbs in it real quickly. Uh, per 100 grams, that's zero fat. Eight grams of carbs per 100, so times five, that is 40. And then you have 9.2 grams of protein per 100, so that times five is um, 45, 46 grams of protein. Great flavor also. All right, my friends, it's 6.30. Couple hours later, I had a little bit relaxing, did some work. It's time to hit the store right now real quickly because we need some dinner. I guess the third time I'm hitting the store today. Let's do like a countdown of like one, two, three, and then the food is here. Like one, two, boy, that's it. Groceries done. Now we can finally cook, but the kitchen is a nightmare. <laughs> oh, I need to clean up first and then we can cook. I'm so hungry. But luckily you can make this meal very, very quickly. It's very easy. It's very tasty. I'll show you the ingredients in one second. I need to clean up right now. Wow. For this meal, we need a couple things. We have two ingredients for sauce, which is a mayonnaise and some yogurt. Listen to this. This meal, because we didn't have any fats yet today, pretty much, we're gonna make a little bit of a higher fat meal. So this is a little bit more higher fat. And also we have avocado, which obviously is very high in fat. It's good fat though, which is great. So we need bell pepper. You can pretty much do any vegetable that you like, but I like bell pepper or paprika or whatever. We have chicken, already cooked chicken, cold. This is a more of a cold recipe, more of a salad kind of thing. We have couscous, which is great for carbs. As I said, we have avocado, and then we have these little silver onion things. They're a little bit sweet, they add some flavor and they add some um, texture to the salad as well. So we have everything here. We got the bell pepper, avocado, chicken, the sauce, and the couscous, and then the little onions right there. Doesn't this look delicious? And it took me like, I don't know, 10 minutes to make. Let's enjoy. What's going on guys? So uh, it is evening right now. It is 9.45. I don't know what time exactly I had dinner. I think it was 7.30ish. Great dinner. I did the dishes. I did some work on the computer here. And um, now there's a couple things left in my day to eat. And actually two things, but we do have some volume in these things. The first one is gonna be Snack Jacks. These are like rice cakes with flavored. Uh, I like the caramel flavor a lot. Main clothes are these are pretty okay. The only thing that really is in here is carbs. The main problem that I had in the past is uh, not eating enough carbs. So this is something that I added on. They are very easy to eat. Obviously you don't have to make them or anything. Just grab some, put them on, on your desk and uh, while you play some Fortnite, you can just munch on them very quickly and very easily. So when everything is done, I've done my emails, done my work, online coaching, all that stuff. I usually go play Fortnite if my girlfriend's not here. Otherwise, we can watch a movie or play Fortnite together. Um, so this snack -a jack is something that I eat almost on a daily basis. I'm gonna play some Fortnite right now, duos, and then I'm gonna munch on some of these snack -a jacks. Probably like three or four of these, and then uh, it should be done. All right, I think we're done playing for today. It's 1 a.m. We've got one final meal. I am hungry, but I'm, I'm actually doing okay. I ate three rice cakes. It's time to finish up our last meal. Let's get it from the fridge, shall we? Another one. <laughs> Jasper, how can you be so boring? All right, so the reason why I take two of these is because 46 grams of protein times two is 92 grams of protein. Then we had the chicken in our dinner, which was 30 grams, 450 grams, 30 grams. And then we had our lunch with rice and chicken, which is another, let's say 150 to 200 grams, which is around 30 to 40 grams of protein. I'm also eating this because of the carbs that I do need. And as I said, tomorrow is a refeed day. So guys, when cutting, the main thing is that I've learned from this cut so far is making sure you get your proteins in and make sure you get your carbs in. Energy levels and the body, how you feel in the workouts, the fullness of the muscle, everything comes back to carbs. If you're very low on carbs, you're gonna feel terrible. Your workouts could be terrible. You look flat. So it's very, very important to at least eat your carbs that you can eat for your cut. You're, you, obviously you 
break down your calories, you break down your macros, that amount of carbs really try to get that amount. You'll definitely need it. It's 1 a.m. After this, gonna brush my teeth and then go to bed. Had a great day today. I recorded a video with a Dutch YouTuber called Royalistic. If you know him, he's awesome. It will be live on his channel quite soon. We did a Fortnite video, it was a lot of fun. But for now, I'm checking out. I'll put everything in the description my whole day so you can have the information if you wanna try it out yourself, if you wanna you know, make that salad or make the chicken that I made. A little bit more informational video this one is. I hope you guys like it. Another Fortnite video coming very, very soon and more fun stuff. Next week is Manchester K-Cyphers Logan Paul fight. I'm very excited. See you guys there. Deuces!